taking a start by talking about our top focus on the show today. SS Rajamoli's magnum opus Bahubali 2 becoming the first Indian film ever to cross the thousand crore mark. Yes, the movie has reached that rare benchmark on the ninth day after its release, the epic saga uh, earning 800 crores in India and 200 crores in the overseas market. Bahubali 2 emerging as one of the undisputed brands of India, certainly, and after the movie's mammoth success at the box office, the director S.S. Rajamoli dropped a hint that the third part of the film may be on the cars. However, his father, Vijayendra Prasad, was quick to say that no, a third part is just not possible. The film was designed for one story which became into two films, but there's not likely to be a third installment. But remember, that hasn't stopped fans from speculating as to whether a prequel is on the cards or whether Rajamoli could actually come up with a third part very soon. Sagai Raj is uh, joining us live now with further details on this story. Sagai, uh, it truly was a film which cut across barriers and regional languages. You know, you are, of course, standing in Karnataka. It did equally well there as it did in the north. It did uh, even better business, of course, in Andhra. It did equally good business in Tamil Nadu. So it cut across barriers, it cut across languages. And that's why it's no surprise, Sagai, that it's grossed 1,000 crores. Absolutely. We, what we get to learn is nearly 853 crores was been earned in India and especially when you talk about South, in fact what we get to learn from the reports are that uh, Karnataka have done better than Tamil Nadu and in some part of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana because uh, here they had released all three languages and they, even today if you try to book online even now you don't get tickets for Bahubali online it's so uh, it, it, it is in the demand and people are still hunting for tickets in south back to you okay so people still hunting for tickets down south it's been more than two weeks phenomenal isn't it Lata Srinivasan senior journalist also joining us on the program this evening in our studios Lata good to have you with us uh, and and I can tell you that it's done equally well in Delhi as it has of course in Chennai where you saw the film but what do you really feel has has led to it crossing that mammoth thousand crore figure um, like you know I told you earlier there mm -hmm. I think it's it's been a mm -hmm. combination of factors the fantastic story Rajamali's direction mm -hmm. the great cast mm -hmm. and the visual effects and the technical mm -hmm. brilliance and of course it's mythological in nature which was something new for the Indian mm -hmm. audience after a very very long time mm -hmm. and I think that captured the imagination of the audience and mm -hmm. the movie has now hit the thousand crore mark and it's going to do more business in the coming weeks okay so you're predicting it will be doing more business in the coming weeks for sure we also have uh, uh, Mughalin joining us live now. Mughalin joining us from Chennai. Mughalin, uh, you know, it was houseful from day one, literally. You know, the box office ticket windows haven't seen that kind of business in a very long time. But what has really led to the euphoria around it? What did people tell you, Mughalin, when you went to theatres and interviewed them? And, you know, as, as uh, Sagai was just pointing out, the houseful signs still continue today in some shows. Initially, we saw the, as a movie released in more than 500 theatres. Now, the Bhagavad to the conclusion is running around, running in 680 80 screens in Tamil Nadu alone. This is this is, a num, is the highest screen count for any movie in Tamil Nadu. Still, you can see most of the shows are full. Bhagavad is still running show, house full in most of the screens now. You can see the red marks, which says the shows are already full now. Uh, this is the condition in Tamil Nadu. You can, you can very much see all the shows are very much full. Now the uh, and the and the collection has crossed more than 60 crores in Tamil Nadu alone. On the day one itself, we saw the anticipation and the curiosity uh, from the people to know why Katapa killed Bagubali. This has been still continued even in the tenth day today because most of the people who come to theatre they said that they didn't read the reviews or they didn't hear the gist or the story from the people. They said they want to go to theatres experience what Bagubali 2 is. This is a kind of situation in Tamil, uh, in Tamil Nadu because this has been a uh, in Tamil Nadu, it al it's always been a competition between the top star top stars in Tamil Nadu. A movie from the other uh, other state getting a, such an opening is a very big thing in Tamil Nadu. Absolutely, a very big de in, uh, deal indeed. And as he was showing us, you know, the pictures don't lie. The mobile is showing houseful signs across Chennai 
that is red marks across ticket windows. And Lata, you know, you saw the film as well. What did you uh, think of the movie? Because there was so much expectation. You know, normally, of course, you go for a movie, uh, first day, first show. Uh, you know, you, you're expecting it to be great. You don't have the perception of people. But here, there was so much hype. Did it meet your expectations? I think it went uh, beyond my expectations mm -hmm. because the movie itself was, you know, fantastic. It was mythological. It was something new for mm -hmm. me as well after all the masala commercial yeah. films that we've been watching for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the music of the film, just the uh, visual, um, you know, uh, the, the, the visual magnanimity, the, the beautiful pictures mm -hmm. and the, you know, the clothing, the jewelry, mm -hmm. all that was so you know visually appealing it was wonderful to see on screen and I think um, it surpassed my imagination for sure okay and were you satisfied with the answer that you got as to why Katappa killed Bahubali we still won't ask you to reveal it because there still are people like myself who haven't seen the movie as yet and many others of course who haven't got tickets but were you happy with the answer you got Yes, I think, you know, when it came to the interval block and everybody was just, you know, clinging onto the edge of the seat to figure out why um, Katapa killed Baubali and then the answer is revealed in the second half, it's just mind-blowing. Okay, mind-blowing is the word. <laughs> but, you know, Sagai, there was so much of controversy around the movie as well and all that, of course, con contributed to the headlines and contributed to people talking and the buzz around the film. You saw a lot of it in Karnataka, didn't you? Absolutely. There was a lot of uh, news about Bahubali's release uh, in Karnataka and people were protesting saying that they will not allow the release of Bahubali in Karnataka because of Katapa's controversial statement nine years back uh, on, on Kaveri water issue. But if you see, uh, the coincident is the collection was more here in, in Karnataka than you compare to any other state because you have some special theatres. For an example, you would like to go to uh, Hindi movie to one of the theatres, you would like to go to Telugu movie to one of the theatres, but you go anywhere in Karnataka, anywhere in Bengal, you will get to find only Bahubali which has been screened either in English for either in Hindi Telugu or Tamil uh, see uh, Uday not only you even I'm uh, quite unlucky to get any of the tickets uh, I mean I'm unlucky to get tickets for Bahubali I'm trying from past one week after my work timing to get, get into a movie but uh, I'm trying to book online and every single day I get to see the red mark on the uh, app and I get very disappointed so we are all sailing in the same boat Absolutely. Mughalin, uh, have you seen the film? Were you happy with the response you got? And what did people around you in Chennai say? Uh, uh, did they uh, enjoy the answer, the, the big mystery answer? Because, you know, that's what Prabhas okay. and Rana Dagubati told me in the interview, that this okay, is I, one I, of the I, unique films in India, which had left so many answers to be, uh, you know, so many questions to be answered in the second half. Uday, I, say, I saw the movie twice. I just cannot stop it with once. I saw the movie twice. Uh, what people say here is that they want the the amount of work put in, the amount of creativity, the graphic works, all were taken into account. And the and the two years wait to know why Katapa killed Bagubali was the the wait was made worth. People were very much excited and they were contented on seeing the movie. You can see every everyone the, right from the. Uh, a small, a small kid of a six-year age to uh, a 60-year-old man, say, uh, conveying the same message. They're saying that they're very much taken aback by the graphics, the magnanimity of the sets were created. These are the, these, these are the points were discussed by uh, most of the people who came to theatre today. Indeed, uh, and you know, Lata, of course, as you're saying, a, a mythological epic film of this kind hasn't really been seen in India. You know, we saw the Mahabharata, of course, years ago, but now with the latest modern technology, it was rare. And they had marketed very well as well. You know, be it Bahubali merchandise, uh, be it a book on the film, uh, be it a TV show which is upcoming. So they managed to really get this Bahubali brand into everyone's home in whatever way. Right, that's absolutely true. I think, you know, Rajmali and his team were very smart, mm -hmm. right? They knew that they were making a big film, you know, a 450 crore film in two parts. And they also understood that marketing and creating a hype around this film was very, very important mm -hmm. to the success of the film, which is why you had so many um, things like what you just pointed mm -hmm. out, a TV show yeah. and, you know, comic book and so on and so forth. And I think that's so important when you're doing a mythological film or a film which is larger than life because you want to give the audience much more than the movie. Mm -hmm. Just a three-hour experience or a six-hour experience wasn't mm -hmm. enough. They wanted it to be something you could carry through life, you yeah. know, 
in some way or the other. And in, in, in a way, it's, it, it's, it can compete with any big Hollywood project, Absolutely. can't it? It's an Indian yeah. product right. that is right up there with any Hollywood product like 300, like Lord of the Rings or many right. other epic movies there. Absolutely. I think, you know, if you take a look at Avatar and mm -hmm. then you take a look at Bahubali, I would put it on the same level. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's exactly what Bahubali did. I think it's the Avatar from India, mm -hmm. you know, to be okay. honest. It's the Avatar from India. And... You know, what we're also going to do at this point of time is we're going to open out our phone lines so our viewers too can call in and share their thoughts on this story. Remember, the big news point, of course, coming in this weekend was that uh, Baubali has <laughs> crossed that magical 1,000 crore figure. You know, we talk about 100 crores, but it's crossed 1,000 crores. Yes, that's the kind of success and euphoria of Baubali. So we put out our numbers there. You can call in. We're taking your calls live and share your thoughts with us. But coming back to you... Uh, uh, Mughalin, there are already rumors of whether there's a Bahubali 3 being planned. What is the news you're hearing about that? No, we, we, uh, we saw yesterday uh, Raja Mauli making it clear that he is not going you know, not going to go for the part three. He say, he, he, he put the rest to the rumors yesterday. He made it, he made it clear through his Twitter account. In Tamil Nadu, there's another interesting point why the uh, movie made this big because the, uh, after the Bagubali release, we saw the uh, film fraternity uh, turning up to the commissioner. Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu Police Commissioner's Office to take a strict action against the uh, uh, piracy. And yesterday in Tamil Nadu, we saw uh, anti-piracy rights being taken uh, all over the state. There were more than uh, more than 16 people who were arrested uh, for selling the pirated versions of uh, uh, various Tamil movies. And these are the, these are this is also another factor which added up to a very grand success of Bagubali 2 in Tamil Nadu. Indeed, and you know, Sagai, you know, often when we uh, talk about movie releases, there's a uh, there's a new coveted club called the 100 crore club which has started of late you know when all the khans of course are a part of it be it Shah Rukh, be it Salman, be it Amir uh, you know and Amitabh Bachchan of course as well and they try and beat each other uh, when their films release in terms of who's the fastest to reach that 100 crore club now but this is a league of its own this is 1000 crores Absolutely, and this is a new benchmark. And according to a website uh, which I was going through this evening, I realized that uh, apart from uh, Bahubali, there were two other in, uh, Indian movie which has crossed a uh, thousand crores, probably, but the but, but not in this uh, short span. I, I I realized that in that particular report, it was saying that Shole and Mughali Azam had crossed more than thousand crores, but not in ten days. For all these years, they have uh, crossed this much of money. Yeah. Definitely, Bahubali has set a, a benchmark for Indian cinema or Indian moviegoers, especially the people who are doing a, a business in Indian film industry, definitely will look, for, for, look forward for this particular benchmark. It's a new benchmark that's been set. Well, we have our first viewer now joining us from Mumbai. Ajay is calling in. Ajay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Ajay Jalani from Mumbai. Yeah, go ahead, sir. First of all, congratulations to Raja Moli for this giving uh, Indian cinema the terrific movie, which is called Thousand Crores. We are really proud of this movie because it has caused this magic, you know, <clears throat> the number of thousand crores. So all congratulations. And on our aspect, I think with the movie, we give five stars to this great movie. Have you seen it, Ajay? Uh, how did you find it? Oh, absolutely excellent movie. There is no doubt. That's why I'm giving, you know, a 10 out of 10. For this okay, great movie. so 10 out of 10 on stars. Aspect, and yeah. of course, your felicitations to Raja Mori. Thanks, sir. Ajay, for joining us there from Mumbai, other viewers, of course, can continue to call in as well. We have a well-known actor, Tanishta Charaji, joining us as well on NewsX now. Tanishta, you know, you're, you're a member of the film industry. How proud are you that you have an Indian film who's managed to achieve this fantastic feat of 1,000 crores in just about nine days? Yes, I, I love the film. Uh, it's, I think it's a very engaging, entertaining film with very high-quality entertainment, uh, fantastic, you know, special effects, the technical work and all the hard work from each and every actor, technician, director, and even each and every actor, technician, director, and even I think the screenplay like keeps you absolutely, you know, wanting to know what's happening next. It's a, it's a fulsome entertainment. It deserves all the, you know, all the money that it's making. It, I think, raises the bar of commercial mainstream cinema. 
and it's fantastic. I'm happy that we are raising the bar, and in a, in a very very positive and in a, in a good way. Yeah, so they're raising the bar, of course, as you're saying, Tanishta, and also raking in uh, you know the moolah at the box office. Uh, do you feel it shows that if you try something different, it pays off as well? Because you know a lot of the times you have experimentation done. But if it's not commercially yeah. viable, then no one tries it again. This film has shown yes. that it's commercially viable. Absolutely, and I think you know the fact that it has worked like all over India and in, you know dubbed in every language. So it has actually crossed the idea of you know only stars would draw that kind of audience because you know they are southern stars, you know Telugu stars who are known in a particular region. But you know outside of that region, it's only Bahubali part. as a franchise and as the film that people are going to watch so it also sort of defies that like you can i mean it is very positive that if you have a good content with full some entertainment people will go and watch it okay finally uh, if you were offered a epic film that also uh, required this kind of uh, time would you do it now tanishta <laughs> flying uh, well i have to work hard to develop my skills of flying but yes absolutely i mean it's fantastic i would love to be a part of a film like that okay thank you so much tanisha charaji for speaking with newsx uh, sharing your thoughts there uh, we have another Bye. viewer joining us from surat now mohan is calling in mohan go ahead yeah it's a, it's a mind boggling movie it has taken the indian cinema to uh, Uh, as far with the uh, you can say the hollywood movies uh, as far as uh, uh, cinematography is concerned as far as the visuals are concerned uh, it is it is it is a must watch movie 5 out of 5 okay well uh, we uh, thanks uh, mohan for calling in there from surat you of course agree that it's also a fantastic film other viewers can continue to call in lata coming back to uh, there have been comparisons also you know as i said with with hollywood movies but also with the tv show game of thrones do you feel this this in a way is can be india's answer to game of thrones i mean not comparing the two but just in in a way the genre well i think and the scale. Uh, no bahubali is on a far bigger <laughs> scale <laughs> i would say because it's a movie but then definitely it is india's game of thrones and um you know uh, the game of thrones of course has gone into numerous seasons but the genre of the film is absolutely similar but uh, this is based more on folklore and i think india has a very rich history of folklore and um, um mythological stories and i think you know where uh, there are more such movies that are just waiting to be made and i think game of thrones might just be one so okay we leave it at that uh, thanks very much uh, lata uh, for joining us uh, on the show a quick last viewer who we can take okay we were out of time we have to step into a short break but thanks to our viewers who also called in thanks to lata shrinivasan who joined us in the studios also thanks to our reporters mugulin and uh, sagai who joined us earlier quick break on that